The inspiration for Beauty So Rare started with a historical account I read of widows and children um, flooding the city of Nashville following the Civil War. They came looking for their fathers and, and brothers and sons and husbands, many of whom had died during the war. So these women came with next to nothing and then they had nothing once they were here. They couldn't return home, even if they had homes to return to. And those questions started swirling about what would you do with all these women? What would you? How would you feed and care for these people? Who would do that? And that's how the the seed of this story came came to be. Something else was with the city of um, of Nashville was the Belmont Mansion history, and Adelicia Acklin in 1853 built this gorgeous home, the Belmont Estate, the Belmont Mansion, and she also built this huge conservatory, a glass palace, the Crystal Palace they called it, and it was a greenhouse that housed over 2,000 plants from all over the world. Then couple that with some other things that were going on in our nation's history, Luther Burbank, a botanist was looking for a, um, a way that he could create a potato that wouldn't rot. Then you had Dorothea Dix, who was an activist for the mentally ill. Insane is what they called them then. We don't use that term now, but there was an insane asylum here in Nashville. And incidentally, the connection from the insane asylum to um, Belmont is that Adelicia's third, third husband, Dr. William Cheatham, was the director of the insane asylum here in Nashville for a period of time. And then you've got Gregor Mendel, a German geneticist who was studying um, heredity in plants and how heredity played a role in plant grafting. Um, so all of this just swirled kind of inside me um, and came into the story that is a beauty so rare.